This video will show you how to set up a third-party camera into a WiseNet NVR using OnVIF or RTSP. We're going to start in the setup menu under camera password. We're going to put in the default password that we're using for our cameras. That'll just save us some time. Then under camera channel setup, we'll click the auto detect button. The recorder will go out and discover all the OnVIF cameras on your network, as well as the WiseNet cameras. Some third party cameras may need you to enable OnVIF for this part to work. You can then sort or scroll through your list. You can see a preview of them if it shows connected. You'll find the camera that you want in your list and you'll put a check next to it and you'll want to make sure it says connected. If you have an authentication failed, click the pencil button and edit the password. Click and drag the camera to the right, to the right slot that you want. Hit apply and then make sure you hit apply again on this screen here. You can turn video and audio on or off from here. You'll see I'm going to change my title for this camera, number seven, to OnVIF so I can identify it later on. And I turned audio on and then clicked apply to save. You can always go to manual and manually register a camera via OnVIF, putting in the IP address, username, and password. You can also add RTSP cameras in the same way. Then you'll want to go to the event menu, event OnVIF setup. This will show you all of the events that the camera has, and you can then map it to different types of events that the NVR knows about. As long as they were enabled in the camera, like motion detection or other analytics, they should show up here so you can record based on them. After that, you'll want to do normal Hanwha NVR configuration. We want to go to our recording schedule, make sure our mode is set correctly so we can record on events and or continuous recording. We check my record setup to make sure I'm recording audio and video, pre-event and post-event, and the full frame or the iframe appropriately. My record options, I have my dual recording enabled, so we're recording the high and low res stream. And then under event setup, we need to go to event rule setup and we need to enable the motion rule if we want to record based on motion. And you'll see all my camera event triggers are listed. If I want to record based on any other analytics or events, I would have to create a rule for them as well. And in the camera profile setup screen, we can choose what profile in the camera we're using for recording, live viewing, and remote viewing. We can see the resolution and the frame rate in the codec right here. The live profile has an option for auto where it will automatically find the best profile fit based on how many cameras are on screen at any one given time. The live profile is what's used for the monitor output on the NVR. Sometimes depending on the camera and the resolution, you might need to set that to manual to a specific profile. And then from there, we can go to the live page and we can bring up our camera and be able to view our video just like any other camera here. And there you go, it's that easy.